Hello there, I thought I would take you through how to create a Zeek Spicy Analyzer from a template using the ZKG Create tool. All right, so I have a few slides to show you how to do this. First, um, yeah, there's where you can contact me, just drkeithjones.com. You can go find me on any social media there and contact me if uh, you want to talk more about this. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so what is Spicy? Spicy is a parsing language for Zeek. And Zeek is a network security monitoring tool. So if you've never run Zeek before, it's a tool that you put on your network that can tell you different things about your network. And usually you use it for some type of security purpose, like host A should not ever be connecting to host B. Zeek, you can write some scripts to alert you if that situation were to happen. Now under the hood to Zeek, there's another language called Spicy, and Spicy is written to chop up a byte stream or the byte stream that you would see in a connection on um, a network interface. So what you can do with Spicy is basically make some units and make some variables in units, and those variables mean different things like certain size um, integers or byte strings or um, you name it. Basically, you can build any type of unit to chop up uh, the protocols that you want to analyze. This lets us easily, and I use air quotes, easily add new protocols into Zeek. So here's a list of few of them, um, FaceFish, IPsec, OpenVPN, OSPF, Stun, WireGuard, um, all these have hand-to-hand -hand in writing and they're all open source. So if you want to take a look at some finished spicy analyzers and see what they look like after you watch this video, uh, feel free to go to any of those links and you'll see finished products there. Now, how do you create a new package in Zeek? I use the ZKG create command. And there's this trick that if you go to the ZKG command and you type ZKG template info, it'll tell you all about different features and um, different ways that ZKG can create packages. And you can see where I highlighted there, um, there's this thing called features and there's these three spicy file analyzer, spicy packet analyzer and spicy protocol analyzer are just three features that you can turn on. And these are three different types of spicy analyzers that you can write uh, underneath a Zeek. Now for us, we're just going to use a simple protocol analyzer. We're not going to go into depth about how to write an analyzer yet. I'll do another video someday on how to do that. Um, but protocol analyzer is probably what like 95% of the people out there would use uh, when they start writing a spicy analyzer. So this is just an example that I wrote of something I called my protocol. So let's pretend we're trying to support a protocol called my protocol. And we run this command, which is ZKG create. We turn on the feature spicy protocol analyzer. We tell it the package directory we want all our code to, run, to be sent to. It's called my underscore protocol. And you can see when I run it, I put my command prompt on the slide here for you. It asks you for pieces of information. And I filled it out typically how I would fill out a new analyzer that I'm writing. So. The first thing is a name, and usually I name it something like Zeek dash the protocol. So in this case, we'll just call it my protocol. And that'll last get analyzer. And usually I put the protocol name here. So in this case, I put my protocol. It's going to ask you the protocol type, uh, meaning is it TCP or UDP? And we'll just say it's TCP. And then it's going to ask you what units you want to parse the orig side and the response side. So they can be different, but in most cases, they're the same. You'll know they're different if you look at a spec to a protocol and the messages are different on the sides, on uh, going on each side of the connection. But in probably 80% plus of the protocols I've written, uh, usually the messages are the same going in both directions. So in this case, I just showed you an example. I just called it my protocol unit. All right, so let me show you what the source code looks like. So this is the source code and I opened up the first uh, file just to read me. 
and you can see pretty much anything in here, the template will put a to-do around. So if you want to search for stuff that you have to change or fix or implement, uh, search for to-do um, because they're all over the source code. So for instance, you're going to want to put in here what your package does and so forth. In your zkg.meta, there's going to be some to-dos in here to fill out under the summary and description. Uh, let's see. The next big file I usually go to is the my protocol EBT, which is under analyzer. And you can see some to do's in here explaining what you should do. Um, if you want certain ports, um, supported and so forth, you need to change that. And if you remember when I typed in by hand, my protocol unit, when we did the ZKG create, those are the units right there that we said we would support. And then it puts a nice little stub first event down here at the bottom and it gives you a to do and tells you what to do to add more support. Under the my protocol that spicy, you can see the my protocol unit that we said we would want for both sides of the connection. In this case, it's just generic. It just says eat up the rest of the connection and put it in this variable called payload. But if you know how to code up spicy, you can then start writing more fields in here and chop up the protocol accordingly. And again, there's a to do reminding you to do this. And the last file we want to look at is the Zeke underscore my protocol at spicy. And there's to do's in here as well. Um, so usually you have to confirm your protocol once you get far enough in and you recognize it, you have to tell Zeke that you want to confirm it. And basically anything Zeke related goes in this file, Zeke underscore my protocol. So you can see some to do's in here that you have to go in and implement as well. Um, it makes the test directory and I'm just showing you here. It's got some example tests that you'll want to go in and change. Um, and it puts some example traces in here, some PCAPs and so forth that you'll want to delete those out and put your real PCAPs in and make some tests. But basically that is it. With that, if you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about Zeek or Anything else in cybersecurity, uh, feel free to follow me and I hope to release more videos like this. Thanks.